Yo, what's up, guys? This is Hunter the Red Dragon. I am here today to bring you guys my live reaction for Fig Grand Order, the movie Divine Realm of the Round Table, Camelot Wondery. Now, I'm guessing, because this is part one, I'm guessing that this is going to be like a three, this is going to be like a three, um, a three movie, tri uh, like a three movie trilogy, because this one seems like, you can't just, you don't want to just cram this whole singularity in literally one movie, because that, there is a lot of, to go through so this of course is going to be part one which is wandering where it is going to focus mostly on just introducing all these characters but the first part of the movie i mean this should only be like the first half of the movie and then like um like heaven's feel it should be a three-part movie especially because there is so much that they actually have to introduce i will be uh, literally upset and it, this would probably be a, a bit of a flop if they only do one whole movie. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. This looks like it's fun. Ugh. The Lion King. But not by Disney. Benavir the Wondering Knight. He made a mistake. But the mistake is, I can't tell you because of spoilers, but it's definitely a huge mishap. So, I don't blame him too much, and you shouldn't blame him for it either when you find out. <laughs> oh, Rosh and Asana of the Gutter's hand. Ooh, Serenity. Swanzan needs at least... My ancestor. Woo, that's gonna be good. Coming 2020, wondering a guard trium. I'm I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. But uh yeah, I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. There's some stuff I actually got to go into it with this. It says like the whole synopsis thing down here says the human heart is easily swayed and corrupted fujimaru ritsuka and mashkare light next journey thrust them against the forces of the holy city prepare yourself for fake rent order the movie divine realm of the round table camelot wandering agartrium says but so that's basically that but there's um some information that i want to go over because well not information but just like more on their like visual website what I want to go over so this is stuff I'm going to do right now and basically read this so here first of all look at this look at this absolutely phenomenal it says the old man of the mountain protection wait yeah protect the innocent now they fight back and you talk about the old man of the mountain we've actually if you watch the anime we've um we've seen the old man of the mountain we know who he's talking about he's talking about, um, they're talking about king hassan so and that's the reason why um he he is very important to this uh, he's very important to this story as he was important to the previous story but i'm not gonna get into i'm not gonna get into spoilers because again i played the game so i'm gonna make sure i don't spoil anything but we have this spread right here we have our boy Hassan of the Cursed Hand, which was, he was first introduced in basically Fate Say Night. He was one of the main um, introduced, and they, I believe he was um, summoned by by um, Sinji's grandfather. If you're watching Heaven's Field, the Heaven's Field movie, so Reddy is the first. It's the first time we're seeing another Hassan. Well, actually, no, the second time we've seen another Hassan because Hassan of the Thousand Faces was actually introduced in Fate Zero. So, yeah, this is our third Hassan. Well, no, our fourth Hassan that we're getting introduced to. Kind of said that we didn't get to see her a lot earlier, but again, they chose Babylonia as the movie and Camelot. Well, I mean, Babylonia as the anime and Camelot as the trilogy of movies. And then our boy Arash. Looking like a straight up pro anime protagonist. <laughs> he he kind of do though. He does look like a anime protagonist who got summoned to another world for some reason. That was just the 
that was just the thing that they um go, go on, I mean that was just the um design that they went with. Let's go to news. Oh, that's just telling us about the um thing. Let's go to actual intro and story. Intro and story says <clears throat> the intro Fate Stay Night was originally released in 2004 by Type Moon as a um, Windows PC visual novel spawn, sp uh, spawning the Fate series which became known for its epic universe and dense storylines that have captivated fans worldwide. This is true of course. One of the most successful incarnations of the series is Fate Grand Order, a mobile game released in Japan in 2015 now boasting over 42 million downloads worldwide. Even now, the Fate universe contains to, I mean, continues to expand. Hinatsu Natsu, who supervises the scenario writing of Fate Grand Order, penned the story for the sixth singularity, one of the most popular chapters, which has been adapted into the first animated feature based, I mean, film based on Fate Grand Order. Camelot is central to the game's overarching story, and the film brings its exquisite beauty and tragedy to life this is where we're going to first see our first demon god pillar before the temple of time it says with a well-balanced team of newcomers and veterans the first and second halves of the film will be directed by k suiza and kanzuto Rai, respectively meiko hoshi kazuka keisei and nakoya onzen will handle the chat the character designs for both parts of the film sick d and projection ig will be creating the animation for both halves of the film and new story of foes brings hearts together okay so hmm they said the first and second part of this film how long is this film first of all because if i remember correctly um heaven's Field, which i do have here Heaven's Field was like, like what, about two hours or so like that, but they can't, they're not going to cram this one singularity into one film, are they? Because I kind of seem, I mean, give me, I mean, benefit of the doubt, but for me, it kind of seems like this should be a three part, like, this should be, definitely be a like three part movie. Like, you know, they do like two hour films. It should just definitely be a trilogy like Heaven's, like, um, well, yeah, like Heaven's Feel is because there's three parts of this movie, three important parts. But then again, I guess the, I guess two of the parts can be condensed. And then just the last part is going to be very, very long. So there's that. I, I just feel like that this should be either a, this should be like a two parter or a three parter. I'm thinking they could do a two-parter, but at the most, they should be, they should, I mean, at most, or at the least, it should be either a two-parter, but they can probably, at most, do a three-parter. I don't think that they can just condense this down into one movie and actually cover a lot of stuff, because we want character development, we want character interaction, So, especially, even if this is a trilogy, that's the most important part of Fake Grand Order in a nutshell, character, um, character interaction and character development and all, all all this all this other stuff that makes Fake Grand Order great. I don't think they can do it in one two-hour movie, but we will see. We will we will definitely see. I just hope I just hope that they go with uh, either a two-part or three-part movie. Um, story for this is the Wandering Knight Benavera reaches the end of his journey. The year is AD 1273 in Jerusalem. The Holy Land has been transformed into a mass desert. The people have been formed out of, I mean, forced out of their homes. Now, wait a minute. You know what? I'm not even going to. Yeah, I'm not even going to get into that. And three major powers wage war with each other in the way in this wasteland. The Knights of the Round Table come together to protect the Holy City and their Lion King, with the whole of his kingdom summoned into a strange land. Ozymandias, the Sun King, quietly plots against the tyranny of this bizarre realm. And the mountain people, protectors of those who were stripped of their lands, await their chance at rebellion. The mountain people are, of course, Hassan and other cursed arm and serenity. They're a part of that 
they're a part of that. That's what they're the mountain people because uh, they're uh, they're attached to King Hassan, who is the old man of the mountain. So yeah, mountain people. And it says in order to fi fulfill his mission, Benavir heads for the holy city where the Lion King rules. And there he meets humanity's final master, Fujimaro Ritsuka, who has come to Jerusalem accompanied by his divinity servant, Mosh Kurilai, in their quest to restore human history. Again, I kind of wish they would add the fact that Fujimaru summoned other servants, not just Mosh. I'm like, yeah, Mosh is cool and all. I love Mosh as a character and all that stuff, but I want variety. I know that he's going to make contrast with servants from the singularity, but come on, I need my variety because there are servants that Fujimaru met on his journey that he actually summoned into Caldea. So, since we know that, he should be summoning those servants in here. But, of course, they never do that. They want to focus on the characters that are the most important in the singularity. This is Benavir joins with Fujimaru and his companions to undertake this quest, of course. And then that's basically it for the story half and intro of this so yeah i'm thoroughly looking forward to this i really hope that this is either a two-parter or a three-parter i'm kind of, i'm still iffy about them just doing this whole singularity in one movie even if it is like two or three hours but i'm still going to look forward to it regardless so there's that anyways this has been hunter or ray jack and i hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction make sure you guys subscribe click that notification bell when you want to be notified when i'm uploading again and i will see all of you guys later peace